Most people walk past ordinary rocks every day. They don't look twice at the cracked ones, the dull ones, or the oddly shaped ones. But here's the secret. Those very patterns are often clues, silent signs that lead to gemstones. Gemstones don't appear by chance. They grow under precise conditions, heat, pressure, chemical reactions, and those forces leave marks on the rocks around them. If you learn to read these marks, the world transforms. Every rock you pick up could be part of nature's treasure map. Today, we'll decode that map. Here are 10 rock patterns that secretly lead you to gemstones. 1. Vein Patterns Imagine hiking along a rocky path and noticing a stone slice through with a pale, jagged streak. It looks like lightning frozen in stone. That's a vein pattern, a direct clue to gemstone-rich environments. Veins form when mineral-rich fluids seep into fractures in rock and then harden over time. Quartz veins are the most common, and where quartz runs, gemstones often follow. Amethyst, citrine, topaz, they all hide in veins. These veins can be thin as a pencil line or thick as a wall, but what matters is that they cut through surrounding rock in bold, unnatural lines. Prospectors study veins the way treasure hunters study maps. 2. Concentric Bands Some rocks reveal their secrets in circles. Concentric bands, rings of color stacked inside stone, are classic signals of gemstones like agates and chalcedony. From the outside, these rocks may look rough or dull, but when cut open, they reveal hypnotic swirls that look like the growth rings of a tree. Agates form inside cavities where minerals slowly deposit in layers. Each band marks a chapter in the stone's growth, creating vivid stripes of red, orange, blue, or gray. Prospectors call these sleeper stones because their exteriors look so unremarkable. A simple hammer strike can transform a muddy nodule into a collector's dream. 3. Bubble Textured Rocks Sometimes the clues to gemstones aren't in lines or rings, but in strange bubbly textures. Rocks that look pitted, porous, or filled with holes may have formed from volcanic gases. These cavities, called vesicles, can later fill with minerals, turning empty spaces into gemstone pockets. Geodes are the most famous examples. On the outside, they look like ugly, lumpy spheres. But inside, they glitter with crystals, amethyst, quartz, or calcite, grown in secret chambers. Each one is a lottery ticket. You never know whether you'll find a hollow dud or a sparkling cathedral of crystals. 4. Crystal Shadows One of the strangest gemstone signals isn't the gem itself, but the ghost it leaves behind. Crystal shadows are impressions left in rock after a crystal has dissolved or been removed. They look like geometric outlines, squares, hexagons, or diamonds, etched into stone surfaces. These patterns are proof that crystals once grew there, and often others still remain nearby. Prospectors read these like footprints in the dirt, signs that the quarry once hosted vibrant mineral life. The human eye is naturally drawn to symmetry, which is why crystal shadows stand out. 5. Rainbow flash. Few natural signs are more enchanting than a sudden rainbow glint from a dull rock. This rainbow flash, often seen when light hits the surface just right, is a strong clue for gemstones like opal, labradorite, or moonstone. Opals hide their fire beneath plain skins. Crack open an ordinary-looking nodule, and you may unleash blues, greens, and fiery reds that dance in the light. Labradorite often looks like a gray stone until sunlight reveals its electric flashes of blue or gold. These stones rely on internal structures that bend and scatter light, creating flashes too vivid to ignore. If a rock seems to change color when you tilt it, don't pass it by. 6. Hidden Stars some gemstones hold entire constellations within. Star sapphires and star rubies display asterism, star-shaped rays that glide across their surfaces when polished. The secret lies in tiny needle-like inclusions of rudel inside the stone, perfectly aligned to reflect light in symmetrical patterns. From the outside, rough sapphires and rubies may look unremarkable, but tilt them in light and you might glimpse the faint outline of a star. Prospectors call these sleeping stars, 
because only cutting, polishing, or the right light can wake their brilliance. Finding one is like uncovering a secret night sky hidden inside a pebble. Seventh, layered stripes. Striped rocks are nature's diary of pressure and time. When rocks endure heat and immense pressure, their minerals realign, forming alternating light and dark layers. These layered stripes signal metamorphic activity, the exact environment where gemstones like garnet, kyanite, and starlight often appear. The bands may look like stretched ribbons or zebra patterns frozen into stone. Unlike the rings of agates, these stripes are usually linear, running parallel through slabs of rock. They tell you the land has endured violent change, where ordinary minerals transformed into extraordinary stones. Prospectors value these striped rocks because they mark the birthplace of transformation. 8. Concretions and knobs rocks sometimes grow odd lumps, knobs, or ball-like shapes on their surface. These features, called concretions, form when minerals gather around a center point, slowly building nodules that may contain chalcedony, agate, or even small geodes. To the untrained eye, these rocks just look misshapen. But to gem hunters, the knobs are potential treasure vaults. A single crack concretion might reveal colorful agate bands or a hollow crystal-filled pocket. The trick is spotting the ones with unusual heft or faint translucence. 9. Iridescent Tarnish Some rocks wear a metallic coat that shimmers like oil on water. This iridescent tarnish is more than decoration. It's often a clue to mineral-rich environments where gemstones grow. Stones like labradorite or opalized rock can flash rainbows when light strikes their surfaces. The effect comes from microscopic structures that split and bend light into colors. Prospectors have learned to pause at this sign because where iridescence appears, rare mineral combinations often follow. Even Cal Copyright, nicknamed Peacock Ore, can display this rainbow glow. A plain-looking rock that gleams with sudden color is a signal no hunter should ignore. 10. Cross-shaped twins. Every so often, the Earth leaves us a gemstone in the form of a perfect cross. Storolite, nicknamed the fairy cross stone, grows in crystal twins that naturally intersect at right angles. To casual hikers, they look like strange plus signs etched into rock. To gem hunters, they're rare treasures steeped in legend. These crosses form under intense pressure when crystals grow together in symmetrical patterns. For centuries, they've been carried as talismans for protection and luck. Before they're polished, they simply appear as earthy brown crystals with unmistakable shapes. If you stumble on a rock etched with a cross, you're witnessing one of nature's rarest alignments. The earth speaks in patterns, and gemstones are its most dazzling whispers. Veins slice through stone like ancient signatures. Bands and stripes record history and color. Bubbles hide crystal cathedrals. Shadows, flashes, stars, and crosses, all are signals that treasure may be near. To the untrained eye, these patterns mean nothing. But to those who learn the language of stone, every ridge, gleam, and ripple is a possibility. Prospectors know the thrill. Lifting a plain rock and realizing it holds a secret worth more than gold. Next time you walk across a stony field or riverbank, look closer. The rock beneath your feet may not just be rock, it may be a story, a signal, a gemstone waiting for the right eyes to see it.